And now we come to the point where you are hopefully creating your own machinima. So let's get started with it. Okay, so the people that aren't doing anything, would you just like to come and stand around the bags or sit on the chairs just to make a crowd? And then the idea is that we're going to have two people speaking, we're going to have two people reading the dialogue and those are the main characters. But obviously you need people around. It's an airport, it's a check-in. Have you ever been to an empty check-in? I wish I had, but there always seem to be mile long queues when I get there. So we're going to have a lot of people, we're going to have a dialogue. And I would hope that the people that are filming will have, will film it three times. So we want the dialogue read in almost exactly the same manner three times. And the first time the filmers will film from a wide angle, so they'll film from a distance, so they can pick up all the people around the room, they can pick up all the bags, they can pick up the two people that are having the discussion, but all from a distance, so it's setting the scene. The second time we film, I'd like you to focus on one of the two speakers, and the third time you film, I'd like you to focus on the other of the two speakers so that you've got three different pieces of film. You've got a wide angle, you've got a close-up on both speakers, and then you can cut and change between the three different pieces of film so that you've got lots of different footage, lots of different views that you can use to, to build your film with. It'd be really nice to get a couple of them done. So while Jürgen's getting his headset, if you want to film some footage, just taking in the bags and taking in the chairs mm -hmm. and people, just because it's useful to have footage. And if you want to film, get your camera uh, controlled where you want it, and then do Control alt and f one Footage that moving around is, is quite a good start, so I'm going to walk behind the counter and look very, very official as well. So if you want people, um, you just want to film bits of, of movement and activity, it will all probably come in handy at some point. So is... Yes, try voice Jürgen, that would be great. Talk to us. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, perfect, yes. It's lovely. No, that's lovely, lovely, nice and clear. Okay, so you're, you're going to be the, the steward of scenario number four, and Diana's going to check in. So hopefully everybody's going to film this scene of you two doing the check-in bit, but from a distance maybe, or from a different angle, so that it's setting the scene. So we can see all the people in the film, not just the two of you. We can see more of the, more of the area. Um, so we can see that it's an airport check-in counter, and we can see people are around. Okay, so if you two... Uh, my name is Air Hostess, yes? <laughs> well, you're, you're an air steward. You're an air steward, right? <laughs> A quick change of um, gender, steward, not, not a stewardess. We don't expect Thank you very much. Somewhere address. So if you, everybody gets their um, their uh, camera lined up for a close up, and then I'll give you a few seconds to do that because it's not the easiest to get the camera lined up, and you won't want to put your control alt and def one on again because you won't want to type. Otherwise, you've got to put all the user interface on again, so we'll forget to that. So just use your Alt key and your mouse and try and get a close-up on Jürgen's face. Diana, don't move away. Uh, I focused you. <laughs> don't move. Okay, I'm sorry. Nobody move. <laughs> but <laughs> other people could move so as long as they don't the, um, move that way. I mean, more turning normal. around various well, bits, like I've actually changes. recorded various bits, but, uh, and I recorded it, it various bits, control alt and left one. Yesterday when they were recording the machinima people, they had us come on Skype and go into Second Life and turn our master volume down, not off, but to almost off, so that our lips would move, but they had the quality. Good morning. Can I see your passport and tickets, please? 
Sure, here you are. How many pieces of luggage have you got? Just two. And what about the other bags? This is just hand luggage. It's far too big for hand luggage. You'll have to check it in here. Oh my God, oh no. Yes, and I'm afraid your luggage is much over the weight that is allowed on the flight. So you have to go to counter 31 and pay 15 euros for any extra kilograms. Well. Everybody stops filming now. Press F9 it's and funny. stop the first scene. <laughs> Perfect. Is it? Really read everybody. Yeah, okay. great. Okay. Um, uh, very, very close on. Uh, try and get Jürgen's face while he's speaking so you can see his, his lips move. Okay, so if you've got your user interface on, do Control, Alt and F1 now to take it off. And I'm going to stop talking and say then a quiet count to three. Hello? Good morning. Can I see your passport and tickets, please? Sure, here you are. How many pieces of luggage do you got? Two. And what about the other bags? This is just hand luggage. It's far too big for hand luggage. You have to check it here. Oh, no! Yes, and I am afraid your luggage is much over white. You are allowed to have 15... Uh, sorry. <laughs> I go on. Um, yes, and I am afraid your luggage is much over white. Then it's allowed. You have to go to counter 31 and pay 15 euro for your extra bag. to move your camera to get some good close-ups. Is everybody managing that or is anybody struggling? Let me know because I can try and work with you to help you get a, a good camera angle if you're struggling. Hi, I had a question. Um, yes, certainly. Yeah, so when I zoom in, I, I have my camera set to uh, you know sound from where the camera position is, so the mic gets a little hot when I do that. Um, should I change the setting or something? So I. Thanks. Um, no, that's probably the best one to have still. Um, but when I do videos, I never ever use the sound that I record. I add the sound after. So I, if I was working with Pistol doing a video, or Hazel, who's here as well, then we'll record it like we're doing now, take lots and lots of footage from all the different angles, but then we'll record the audio using just a simple free program called Audacity. Uh, it's absolutely free. It goes on Macs or PCs or anything. And then... Um, you can just import into Camtasia or anything else. You can import your audio files and put them with your video. And that gives you a much, much better quality audio than you get just from a, a Camtasia recording like this where you're a little bit away from the action. Excellent. Thank you. Well, various bits and Letty recorded various bits and I recorded various bits. You have no lip sync, you do. When they were recording do, the cinema people they yeah. had us come on skype then go into second life and turn our master volume down not off but to almost off so that our lips would move but they had the quality from skype yes yes i've heard of that as well and um, that was certainly recommended in one of the machinevo um, sessions so that you've got your volume just turned down but your lips still move because your microphone is on, so your lips move automatically, so you've got lots of footage with your lips moving again. But but you can superimpose the Skype audio or the Audacity audio. But we tend to talk, when we were filming, Crystal and I and Hazel, we tend to talk all of the way through 
our filming. So we talk about what we're doing and who's moving where and, and things like that because we're not going to use the audio file. We're going to put the Audacity file with the dialogue against the video. So you can see now I've just got tiny speech gestures, only very, very small ones. So while I'm talking, it looks a little bit like my uh, like I'm moving. And so if you're actually talking all the way through to each other while you're recording, you get this slightly more natural movement and you get the lips moving as well. Okay, now then, so we're going to do the third audio recording now of this scene and this time we're going to try and focus on Diana. Diana, have you managed to activate some of your um, speech gestures? And so you're saying that I don't have speech gestures? Got them activated? You should have them in your inventory. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Don't worry now, it doesn't matter. It was just a thought. You can go down to the library at the bottom of your inventory. Right. And then and I go search. to... Just do a search for speech gestures. Just type that okay, in the top bar. Type. Oh, wow. You know, there are lots of gestures so but what should I pick? I like them all just just put your thing just touch the top one yeah. touch shift and yeah. touch the bottom one and that highlights them all and then right click and activate and then you can deactivate them after the film um, but certainly like filming a little bit of action there you are look you started to move you've started to uh, look a little bit lively as though you're actually acting what do I do? Because I, I can't see my avatar from from the front, so I... You want maybe to see your avatar? Use the <laughs> camera controls and rotate was, it around. Yeah, I know. I'm just, you know, so lazy. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> here. Well, you can just use the camera setting itself and look from the front. Which of the camera settings is it? I don't use them. So if you put your camera controls yeah, on... Right. Um, camera modes, is it? Well, if you Which one is it? Oh, on the eye one. one. Like an eye. Yeah. yeah, the one that looks like an eye, and then you just click on the front view and you can see yourself from the front. So your camera controls are useful as well, especially if you want to film yourself. Okay, so we've got a bit of action. We've got, um, hopefully by now, people have managed to get the camera turned around and focusing on Diana. I've got so a beautiful is, is there any difference in, in the way my avatar speaks or moves or yes. Moves, yes, you're moving. You're activated. Okay. You're you're much more lively than you were. Okay. Okay. All right. So if everybody's ready to film I'm going to, when I shut up, in your head, count down from three, and then <laughs> start to film. So everybody now, do you switch your user interface off, so control, alt, and F1, so that you haven't got all the, all the messy interface, and you've just got, you're focused in on Diana. And then press F9, so that you're actually filming, and I'll shut up now. Good morning. Can I see your passport and tickets, please? Sure, here you are. How many pieces of luggage do you got? Just two. And what about the other bags? This is just hand luggage. It's far too big for hand luggage. You have to check it in here. Oh no! One more recording, Jürgen, and can we have... Oh, that's that's oh. unfair. Nobody likes oh, to make the actor, the and then the actor oh, has to work and work all night. <laughs> all the words this time. Okay, here's a chance to take a fourth, a fourth view, everybody. Yes, so yes, wait, please, please, please wait a moment, wait a moment. Uh, I haven't... Come from three, quietly, and we'll have the scene for one last time. Good morning. Can I see your passport and tickets, please? Sure, here you are. How many pieces of luggage do you have got? Just two. And what about the other bags? This is just hand luggage. It is far too big for hand luggage. 
You have to check in here. Oh no. Yes. And I'm afraid your luggage is much over wide that is allowed on this flight. So you have to go count to counter 31 and pay 15 euro for any, any extra kilogram. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do another scenario. Let's come over to the bus station then. And again, if you're not filming, we want people sitting on the bench. We want people queued up waiting for the bus. And um, Letty, are you going to... Are you prepared to be the janitor? Be the janitor. And who's going to volunteer this time to have the conversation with Letty? Okay, so have we got somebody prepared to be Miss Taylor, the student? Okay, it's let me just give you... Okay. Okay, so it's the scenario number one. It's um, the caretaker and a student. Uh, good morning. Um, lovely day, isn't it? Yes, it's wonderful. Pretty hot, though. Yes, you are right. I love the heat. So do I. Lucky you. You can enjoy the sun outside. I have to stay indoors and the rooms can get really hot and sticky. Anyway, I have to carry on with my work. Have a nice day. I hope the bus is coming soon. I'm already quite late. See you. Was that... I can't... Hang on, let me get the user interface back. Was that scenario one you read then, Letty? Was that the other scenario... Two. Okay. I read the scenario one. Oh, special. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Yeah, have a bit of both. Okay, let's let's do one first. Okay. I think we've done it through once, haven't we? Yes, we've done one through once. So let's do one through a second time, and then we'll do the second scenario. So let's do number number one again, so that everybody's got at least two complete shots of it. So find yourself a nice angle, everybody, with your camera. And Good morning. Then take your user interface off. Sorry, <laughs> take your user interface off. And then when I shut up, count down from three in your mind and you're filming. Good morning. Lovely day, isn't it? Yes, it's wonderful. Pretty hot, though. Yes, you're right. I love the heat. So do I. Lucky you. You can enjoy the sun outside. I have to stay indoors and the rooms can get really hot and sticky. Wait, I have to carry on with my work. Um, have a nice day. Great. Press F9, everybody. And that's We've had two takes of scenario one, so hopefully everybody's got enough footage now to make a little film of that scenario. And we'll move on. Are you happy to do scenario two, the two of you? Well, we've got time, I think. Are you happy to do another another little video, Alfonso? Another little machinima? Yeah. yeah. Great. So, um, okay. where is the place? So, no, here. It's still here. It's just scenario two when it's cold and wet and miserable this time. Obviously, if you're doing language learning, you know, this is just dealing with the weather, isn't it? But it's a much more interesting way of dealing with the weather than having pictures on the board and saying sunshine, wind, rain. You know, you can just make it really interesting. Morning. Nay day, isn't it? Hmm. It's cold and windy and will start to rain any minute. Um. Just a little bit of wind and rain won't do us any harm. Um, it is good for the plants. Oh, bad weather makes me feel miserable. But you're right, I shouldn't complain. I'll work indoors all day and will be warm and cozy. I'm sure it will brighten up soon. I love to work outdoors, come rain or shine. Good for you. Mm -hmm. 